Hello, it is the Shrimp Tooth and the Humble. And of course that means only one thing. That's right, it's the time for our monthly Humble Bundle video in the original slash extra slash what are we actually calling them game in this month's Humble Choice. And here we have Retired Men's Nude Beach Volleyball League. Like I said, it might be self-explanatory. I just don't know, are they going for a... Uh, like, is this going to be a completely funny haha? -ha? Is it literally going to be how it sounds? Is there going to be, like, a surprise more to it, like, in a you-wouldn't-expect kind of way, or, you know? I do appreciate the novelty, both of the volleyball menu selector and the fact that I feel like I'm playing on an old screen, which is both a nice novelty and kind of weird to my eyes. <laughs> hey there! I'm glad you joined the league. Everyone's here for different reasons, but at the end of the day, we are all here for one reason. YouTube. <laughs> to play volleyball. You might have played in other places, but here are our rules. Okay, yes, I would love to learn. I don't even know the, the rules of volleyball in, you know, other places. This is one-on-one -on -one volleyball. Only two people play a match at a time. No spikes or dives in this. I realize it doesn't literally mean a spike, but I'm all, I'm just picturing a cartoon situation there. I know we were all in pretty good shape here. I had too many broken hips to risk it anymore. Members of our groups are welcome to watch. To score a point, you must be serving. First person to 25 points wins. I know absolutely nothing about volleyball other than it's like net and like hit the ball back and forth. I don't know any of the terminology here. I'm like, so serve just like tennis, huh? Which makes sense. <laughs> Got it. If you hit it out of bounds or do a bad serve, your opponent gets the ball. Okay. Um, I'm not good at real life sports. Generally, I'm not good at virtual sports either, but let's see. I decide who serves first. Okay, ref. Ooh. Here is a rule that you might not know. Ooh. Because I made it up. Well, at least you're honest about this. You can hit the ball under the... Ooh. It goes over or under the net, as long as it's not out of bounds, it's fine with me. I like this guy. I don't really care. <laughs> me, I like this guy, game, like, don't care. I'm not perfect, but none of us are. Sometimes I miss things. That's okay, don't get mad. Don't get mad. Yeah, okay, I'd like to go with the league rules. First off, I know some people might think what we do is weird, but we have something special going on. Only talk about our group with other people in the league. First rule about Fight the Club. <laughs> if we find out you are blabbing, then you are out of the group and you'll never hear from us again. Okay, we're a secret society of volleyball players. Got it. Okay. Make sure to bring proper sunscreen and water to stay hydrated. Drink the water, not the sunscreen. Good tip. Everybody should hydrate. Yes, yes, it gets hot out there and you don't want to get burned. Nope, nope, nope. Don't miss your matches. Commit to a match, be there. Members of our group sometimes drive pretty far to make their matches. If you skip and don't have a good excuse, then you are out of the group. Reasonable. You must respect everyone's space and boundaries. Nude beach volleyball is a sport where we show our true vulnerabilities and bring it all on the field physically and emotionally. If someone doesn't like something you are doing or talking about, them back off and give them space. What happens in the match stays in the match. Vegas? Sometimes we share secrets and stories in the field. This is our place to reflect and learn. That's where things can get interesting. If someone shares something personal and we hear you told anyone you are immediately out of the group. Do we actually get the chance to, you know, spill secrets in this? Because I'm just curious. What do you think? You in? Yeah! I think. Good! Bring some food to share with the group. Maybe potato salad, macaroni salad, something like that. Don't make me hungry, I just ate. <laughs> That's all for now. See you in the field. Week one. Oh boy, there's a timeline. Guys, we have a story timeline. Okay, Len. This is a sure is a weird way to die. What? Also, I'm kind of concerned by the way that car is bobbing, but like maybe that's normal and you just don't notice it when you're inside. No, no, it's going too much. You're going slightly, you're too on the line for me, sir, please. I can see the headlines now. Naked 80 year old found dead in the woods with a volleyball in his hand. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Let's go through this whole process of how I got here. 
I was at the supermarket buying some cereal. After I checked out, I looked at the bulletin board past the register. It said, retired? Looking for something more in life? I thought it would be an ad for a pyramid scheme, timeshare, or something along those lines. Valid, valid suspicions. I was bored, so I grabbed it. I actually wasn't bored. Want to know the real reason why I grabbed it? Is it because you're retired, Len? Yes. I've always enjoyed a hard sell. Ah. I enjoyed the feeling of someone trying really hard to convince me to do something. Knowing the whole time I'm going to say no. Um. Hmm. On the one hand, Vegas. Haha. <laughs> On the other hand, I mean... When you do end up in a place where people are actually trying to actively sell shit to you, oh boy. Those kiosks in the mall, they put cream on your hands and file one of your nails and tell you nicer, terrible things about your skin. Then minutes they are trying to sell you multiple sets of nail files for the whole family, hand creams and anything else they can. The techniques they use are powerful. After a few minutes, they really start pushing it. I always politely say no and try to get out without buying anything, and I always do. It's an amazing feeling to step outside yourself and imagine me being sold to. It feels weird and interesting. I've always had a strange relationship with experiences like this. It's a strange, uncomfortable feeling that sort of feels good. I thought this flyer in the grocery store is something like that. Some scam or someone trying to sell me something. Or maybe it's something real it was worth checking out. I really have no idea. And I still don't. When I called, the guy on the phone said it was a nude volleyball league. It was the last thing I ever expected to hear. I have no idea what to think. I've barely been nude in front of anyone. Definitely not a stranger who I'm going to play volleyball with. I've been wanting to get more active lately though, and I have always enjoyed the sport of volleyball. So I figured it's worth a shot. I can appreciate his sense of adventure. I feel like this is something I should be very scared of, but for some reason I'm not. Well, I guess I am a little nervous. I wonder if there will be an audience watching. Oh, that's a terrifying thought. Audiences in general, and then audiences when you're new. No, mm. let's, we're leaving that in the cliche nightmare cupboard. Maybe I'm walking into one of those TV shows where they do pranks. Yes, maybe it's a prank. I guess we'll see what happens. They just come out like, you've been pranked. Or you've been volleyballed, maybe, for all we know. Hey, ref. Mark. Len. This is the first match for both of you. Oh, cool, another newbie. Welcome to the league. You all know the rules, so let's have a nice match. Yeah, I remember the rules that we were told, like, what, five minutes ago? It's a little buggy out today. Do you need any bug spray? I will take that bug spray. Sure, here's some. Time for some volleyball. Do I get to actually play volleyball? Or is this like a text adventure? I have questions. I dare say we actually have to play. I'm a little nervous. I haven't played volleyball in a while. And I mean, do I really have to get naked for this? Have to for the experience of playing volleyball? No. But the to playing volleyball here, apparently. Isn't it going to hurt if the ball hits me in my sensitive areas? Yeah. Here it goes. You can see my opponent. He's waving at me. Uh. Oh. Oh, he yeah, waves back. Hey, Len. I'm Mark, your opponent. Thanks for showing up. I think this is going to be really fun. Uh, what, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to this, so I'm a little nervous about the naked part. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, let's get this show on the road. Okay, but what are my uh, what are my controls? Do I have controls or do I just have to point. hit? Yeah, yeah, point mark. Do I just have to hit like stand with the balls? Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> point mark. I just couldn't get. I really couldn't though. No buttons in the running, so I think it is a case of just yeah, yeah, just just be in the right place. Ah. Uh, Listen, I'm 80 years old. Don't expect me to move fast. Point. Or have depth perception. Let's be real. If you force me to play anything, you 
probably know my own. No, if you've watched me One exist. Point. Depth perception is a is a skill. Maybe by me going, this will make you more comfortable. I think about it. But maybe you are right. Ah, I'm feeling a little more comfortable. Maybe it's luck. No, don't chalk it up to luck. You're doing great, and you should own it. That's important. Oh man, we're getting pep talked. But it is luck. Do you see those shots? I can have all those shots. Why is it important? It's important because what you say can change how you feel. And what you should feel is confidence. You're not wrong, you know? You say it, your brain might start thinking it. Uh, aren't I allowed to joke? Yeah, uh, sometimes your brain doesn't tell the difference. Of course you're allowed to joke. But just remember, every time you tell yourself something, a tiny little piece of you will believe it to be true. Even if you're joking. So why not joke about being great rather than being terrible? Something I'm working on, so, you know, expect my delusions of grandeur at any moment. <laughs> I just self-depreciated. I just did a self-depreciating joke, didn't I? I said working on it. I didn't say mastered, okay? Damn, it's deep. Gonna have to think about this. Yeah. Gotta think about it. That's the spirit. Let's go! Okay, run. Run, run, run. Run, run. Oh, okay, okay. You both. Can I? Oh, come on. Much more. I might not win, but I'll have fun. And you know what? That's, what? That's what's really important. It's not the winning, it's the enjoyment. It's the getting sassed by a ref who I just realized is half me. Aha! Woohoo! Even though I had a time to retire. Eh. So who do you think will be first to 25, guys? Cause ooh, ooh, it's gonna be close. It's, oh, it's gonna be so close. It's, ah. Maybe I thought I would die for a diamond. I don't like thinking of me, I know don't. Cause like, hmm. I'm certainly not gonna think about certain of those things. Just gave him a point. point. Just gave him a point. You're getting better with every game, Len. Nice work. Uh-huh, mark my way. Have we met before? You look familiar. Oh, have we? Weeks. <sighs> this sure is better than work, though. <laughs> I believe that, buddy. Yeah, but I might be a little bit, a little bit scattered. Because, uh, my, my, my method of standing nude in the scorching sand. We sure are. Oop, 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 oop. Change the shadow. Oh, come on. I was still under that. Yeah. Even though I just scored, you're an excellent opponent. Aw, thanks. You're a real cool mark. Thanks, Len. For me, it's not about winning or losing. It's just about having fun. This game, someone has to win, lose for someone to win. Listen, that might be factually accurate, but it's all about the fun, buddy. All right, then. You ready for the next match? Yeah, let's go. In which I'm both too chill to care while Double also being cut. slightly competitive. <laughs> My friend from years ago who doesn't recognize me. <gasps> My friends from years ago, is that why we know each other? Did I get a point? No, you're out of No, I didn't get a point. point. I did that! I did get a point! I nearly said fine point. I have no idea. Hey, if you don't know, I sure as heck don't know. Oh. What's that? Okay, getting close to the end. This has been fun. It has. Yeah. Are playing against you, Mar. Yeah. Agreed. Can't believe our final match is here. May the best man win. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. Mark with the 20 points. Me and the three. Six points. 
bucks and according to stuff and things that's one of my lucky numbers so I'll take it. <laughs> wow, good game, Len. That's my new thing. Yeah, you really changed my whole way of thinking. Thanks for the good conversation. Anytime. I'd really love if we could get together sometime and reconnect. I would love that. Perfect. I'll email you. Take care, Len. You too, Mark. Mark four. Mark four. Aww. Yes, Mark does win just a little. Okay, okay. Hold up, hold up. Because I went to exit the game to do stuff and things, and, and the game doesn't exit, exit, it exits Len, Len, Len's desktop. And can I, can I open these things? <gasps> ooh, ooh, bad news. I, I, not ooh, bad news. I was like, ooh, things. And then I read the thing that was the, uh, that was a bad sentence combo happen. Mark, Len. Ah, uh, I think everything has for a reason, but the answer is there's really no rhyme or reason. Made you think of normal all of a sudden. Has this new computer got you all jazzed up and emailing people from the past? Apparently. Well, can we reply? Um... Hi, buddy. <laughs> you think you think I had something better to say? No, 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 no. Okay, there's lots and lots of things. Emailing everybody. Okay, cool. What else is there in here? My name's Len. I'm currently living among son and his wife, but I'm planning on <laughs> something. Nest. Oh, a little nest. Oh, I like this. This does feel like someone's casual. Retired. Retired. Just says retired. Better times. Is that a song? Profile ideal. I'm glad I spent most of my life working and now that my body doesn't work as well, I can finally relax. I like to meet someone who can make me laugh as adventurous and enjoy cooking, going on walks, some sports, use pipe bubble. Okay, oh. Okay, there's lots of things in here and oh, game ideas. Tennis game, potato slam, oh dear. Music based garden sim, make the best food, nothing violent, arm wrestling for charity. I like all these things. Arcade? Oh man, oh, literally an arcade. Okay, okay. Yes, hi. I like the little, little oh, jokes. Oh, what can you serve but never eat a volleyball? What is a real area? They're all volleyball jokes. I love the theme. I love the theme. You can make yourself laugh here. There's so many things and I'm kind of curious, but okay. No, I do need to be going. But I love this as a detail and I, uh, I couldn't not share. And this brings us to the end. I did record week two and it was fun. Your opponent is a little more aggressive, but it's the same kind of driving, reflection, thoughts, then game, conversation, woo, vibe. So I figured the first week explains what the game is well enough. Let that stand on its own. You have plenty to discover if you're interested. Feel free to check out my channel if you enjoyed. Goodbye!